Let me go get some supper. I think I'm going out with a few of the homies. I know you said you're going uh, going out with your brother or something. Yeah, bachelor party. Ooh, Hell bachelor yeah. party. Let's Hell go. Yeah. I know you said you balled out on a lightsaber. Uh, <laughs> it's it's way at home. My, pa my parents picked it up from the post office. They have no idea what it is. They only know is that there's just this big box sitting in their house. You're lucky the post office didn't wave it as a bomb threat or a, <laughs> an illegal weapon of some type. Well, somebody had to sign for it, and unfortunately, it, it came during the day when the parents were working. So, but it, it's there now. I'm excited mm -hmm. to see it. Oh, I bet you are. Like, it was it was quite the pretty penny. I'm excited for you. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome for you. Enjoy the wedding and stuff. When's the wedding? Uh, October. It's Halloween theme. The, the, okay. The and wedding. we are going into this match. No more time to talk about your uh, bachelor party. Uh, and we got Bayonetta out here, uh, and Ike, kind of sort of Romeo and Juliet, right? Sure. Go with the romance <laughs> theme here. So, see, by my logic, Bayonetta has the advantage, because Bayonetta has guns, and Ike has a sword. Um, and, and you can just shoot, shoot get, you know, I don't know, they say within 14 feet, a knife is more optimal than a gun. Yeah, I mean, whatever, I mean, you just gotta shoot them once and they're dead. So the real the real reason Bayonetta has an advantage here is because witch time, and you can witch time Ike in a lot of his options. They're oh, fairly uh, projected. Like you know when he's going into quick draw, you know when he's going into Aether. Like you know these things. Easy to edge her, definitely. That and she has the whirling fair of doom. <laughs> one of the few hitboxes. I think one of the only neutral areas in the game that actually it, it just it just keeps going. Oh yeah, that's that's unique to Bayonetta. She has all these, she has the bullet art extensions and that happens to be the bullet art extension on that. That's a silly mechanic. She also has the uh, up B, yeah, which at this. is frame four. Guns versus swords, look how that's turning out. Listen here, they're not within 14 feet. Uh, also, her uh, her bullets are a little weird and the fact that they don't like really go through you, they just kind of like bounce off you. I, oh, yeah. up, smash, up smash, yeah, just, just throwing it out. Tired of baiting and landing behind her, just throws up the up smash to catch him. Smart option as long as you have the time to do it and you don't get like he doesn't see it coming. Playing footsies right now. And we got an even game here. We haven't seen any type of witch first combos. Ike does have that really nice SDI multiplier. It's higher than like the rest of the cast. Oh, and man. that's what I was talking about. The whirling fortress of doom and despair. Let's just get out, get that like off stage <gasps> and that's it. The dash tech getting kills part so close. Not quite. Oh, he almost had it. Yeah, almost almost getting that trump there. Uh, and it's something LKT likes to do is get the, the ledge trump to back air. That's because Ike's back air is so strong and his uh, his like kill setup there rather lackluster. And just back yeah. with inning without of that. Taking half the damage, but that doesn't really matter if he's percent. Oh. The forward tilt's going to do it, though. That's going to get a nice clean KO. Banna, a, a light lady, uh, following that massive sword. Oh. Going down throw, and I no think he was looking off. for the footstool actually. I think he was looking for the uh, the, the big Ike combo. There's a there's a, like a footstool to jab reset to uh, another uh -oh. footstool, and now we are going to see some of this banosity. Not going to get the KO, but a like clean of amount of damage. Eighty nine percent. And the bullet uh -oh. climax. Oh, he saved his jump. Oh, trying to go with the the witch time. That's kind of what I was talking about earlier. And now we just got kind of Ryoku just kind of zoning out. One of Ryoku's known habits is that he likes to back air a lot uh, at high percents, and that is kind of cool. Uh-oh, and no not up air, quite. not going to connect. LKT's got to be careful about getting red. Oh, trying to use and, his own counter. Yep, trying to use his own counter. And like I said, Ryoku known for using that back air at high percents, so the counter is a very good option. Uh-oh, bullet climax. Uh, LKT's he's gonna very to smart to keep yep. his jump every time he's off stage. He knows the, the bolt. I mean, with Ike, you have to. And then he's finally going to get snapped out by that backer. But we saw three or four backers from Ryoku like, right in a row. Like, that's yeah. all he was going for. So I expect to see a counter in game number two if we get into that scenario again where he's got quite the deficit to make up. Uh, I expect some counters to come out to get Ryoku to stop, break him of that habit. And back to Smashville, LKT liking the platform for, you know, like, that platform F-Tilt was very clean. Uh, it might not have killed had there not been that platform there, or if he was on, like, a different platform someplace else other than maybe town. But not wanting to go to town because it's Bayonetta and, like, it was right. shorter ceiling and the higher platforms. Uh, so this, this is an all-around good pick. 
Makes sense. It's tough to counter pick Bayonetta. That was in. Yep, that's within. You're gonna get a big follow up. You're gonna send him off stage. Oh, he's sending him yep. off stage. Oh, and he get breaks out of it. Yep, good SDI. Um, and the air dodge. Uh, but Witch Twist will always send the way Bayonetta is facing. It's not based on like where you're at, uh, like where you're at compared to Bayonetta. It's always which is like gonna live? Is Bayonetta gonna live? Yes. Yeah, they're gonna live. I saw a lot of moves being thrown out by Bayonetta off stage. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's unfortunate for LKT. Uh oh. Nope, nope not, not quite. quite. Um, we've had a lot of two counts on these uh, these witch twist combos. Oh, I definitely under those balls. The the build a bear is not quite working for Ryoku. We're gonna just walk away. I like some a lot of. It seems like Ryoku's playing a lot near the edge of the stage. He does that because he likes to camp out with the the bullet climax, and he wants to make sure that he can't get crossed up as easily. Uh, it makes it a little bit harder to predict where he's going. And good dash tech from FKT. And again, so many bats within. Oh my god. Edge is reading the option. Just the Gonna tip. get the back air. Him with the tip of the back air. I think he lost his jump. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's got, I guess, a decent snap. It's not like the best. Like you're, if, but if your sword is like gonna go through the platform or like through the stage, for the most part you snap. And here's a witch time. Going for that down oh, flash, not gonna connect. And just gonna quick draw right back to the ledge. Smart option. Ryoku desperate to find this KO. Uh, and he's just not, not finding it. LKT doing a good job playing patiently. Not doing a good job, however, of putting on more damage, and that's what we need to see. Here, a little bit, a little more, but yep. that within is. Forward throw, not gonna do it, though. Like a thick boy. That, that taxi cab platform is doing like all kinds of things. I think LKT, that's why he went back here. It's like, it's th three I gotta times, believe. Yeah, it's three times at, at least he's used it to help himself recover. Not dead yet, use his jump, though. All right, and that's a uh, that's a good option right there. And we're gonna we'll just do, get the do it. throw. This should do it, yeah. Yeah, 180 percent. Very good option from uh, Rio Crew. Not just fishing with backers, uh, but we will see what he can do here. He's trying to stretch him off. So all that time, LKT spent at high percent didn't really do a whole lot for him because now he's getting uh, lapped or he's getting taken over. And great down air from Ryoku. Not an offensive option. I see Abadango use it a lot, especially in the Rosa matchup. Uh, but not an offensive option, but that down air, if you get the correct hitbox, is so strong. And LKT trying to like zone out with some fairs, trying to put on some pressure. And just kind of jumping up and down, up and down, up and down. And good forward air from uh, LKT. Uh, trying to reel himself back in here. Ike does kill earlier with like generic options, but Bayonetta has that Bayonetta factor basically. And trying oh. to read that roll, uh, basically trying to cover all options, I think. Not get, uh, quite able to read the tech in, or cover the tech in. There's the counter. Oh, and no punish. The jabs. Good good follow up going with a fast option right after the, the slow option. So get off me, move. Yep. Absolutely. And a back air from LKG. Fighting back in his own back air. Yep. And nothing there. Gonna get the up throw. Bad with it. Yep, I'd probably save it in his life right there. I wonder if he's gonna try to bait out one of those. He's gotten bats through him several times. And go with a forward smash. But I so slow. And he's not actually gonna get witch time. I'm a little surprised. And a little bit too far away for that to affect him. And the pivot forward tilt. Smart option from LKT and trying to run off and counter. Uh, this time he is going to get which time he's forced underneath the stage. Oh, jump? No, he does goodness. not. Smart play from Ryoku. Going to take that 2-0. Uh, and we should be rolling right into grand finals. This should be uh, Nebula versus Ryoku for grand finals. We are going to get it going here. I am Super Atomic. This is Coconut Gun. We got one last set, maybe two if the reset happens. You can, of course, give me feedback at Super Atomic SSB. Huge shout outs to Trapumple here tonight but also giving me major feedback on Twitter and helping me out, learning more stuff about Robin, a relatively obscure character outside of MSU, but most weeks at MSU there's, uh, you know, two to four basically of Robins. It's pretty pretty gross. And in top eight too. Yeah, you'll see at least two in top eight have the potential of making that top eight. Absolutely disgusting. 
I love it. I love seeing underplayed characters. Absolutely. It's, it's pretty much what MS, the MSQ Smash 4 is. It's a bunch of... It reminds me of the early days of Japan Smash 4 because we don't really play for money here. So people just kind of play who they want to play. There's not as many bayonetas and things. like. There's always going to be people who, who pick up like you know the characters. So they legitimately enjoy them more. But if you're not playing for money, there's no reason to like tear hoard yourself out if you're going to have less fun. Right. Uh, but sometimes like... You just can't argue with the results that you're going to get with this, like, you know, Bayonetta. Or, or Cloud. Yeah, Cloud, Bayonetta, Ryu, even. Uh, most of the Ryus, though, I think they're a little less 